Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about the assumed solution method of solving differential equations. In contrast to the separation of variables method, this works for uh, first as well as second and higher order uh, ODEs. Um, and it's particularly clean for linear and constant coefficient ODEs, which we're going to show you here. Um, so the way that this works, and we'll go ahead and we'll write a, a generic first order ODE here. So we've got AX dot, a, A1X dot plus A0, X equals zero. And so the way that this works is we can we know that if we are adding a function x to, or some multiple of a function x to another multiple of that function's derivative, we get zero. And so we must, and so from that we know that the function x looks kind of like the, the its own derivative. And a good candidate for that. Um, for a function that looks like its own derivative is going to look like e to the t, right? So e to the t, the derivative uh, of e to the t is e to the t, right? So we are going to assume that the solution takes the form c, so some constant times e to the p times t. So c is a constant, p is a different constant, uh, but e to the t is is the general function that we're that we're looking at. So we're going to say, okay, so we assume that x equals c e to the p t. And then we take the derivative of that, and then we would say that x dot is equal to c times p e to the p t. We just took the derivative of our assumed solution. And so we'll go ahead and plug that back into our original equation. So we've got a1 times x dot, which is c p e to the p t plus a0 x, which is c e to the p t equals zero. And both of these have uh, C and E to the PT, right? So we'll factor out C and E to the PT. So we'll have, we're left with A1P, whoops, A1 times P plus A0 times C E to the PT equals zero. Um, so we have three quantities here. We have a1p plus a0, and we have c, and we have e to the pt, and you multiply those all together, and you get zero. So when you multiply things together to get zero, one of them is going to be zero. e to the pt, if we draw it here, e to the pt is exponential growth, right? It never equals zero. So e to the pt is not equal zero, so we'll just kind of, we'll just get rid of that and we'll say that a1 p plus a0 times c equals zero. Um and also we're going to say that c is also uh not equal to zero because if c is equal to zero, then our solution is equal to zero, and we're back where we started. We don't have a solution. Uh, we don't have a useful uh, solution to our problem. So we'll also say that c is equal to zero, or is not equal to zero. So that means that a1 times p plus a0 equals zero. Um, so a1 and a0 are variables. Um, so that means that p must equal 
minus a0 divided by a1. And p, the number that goes up in our exponential here, we're going to call p is a pole of the system. Um, and so our solution is the x of t equals some constant to be determined by our initial conditions, e to the minus a0 over a1 times t. And then if we have initial conditions, then we can um, solve for c to get the particular solution for this problem. We'll go ahead and end this video here and take a break.